up everyone? My name is Liberty and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm doing a mini native slash indigenous owned business haul. I am so excited to show you all of these awesome things that I've purchased. Over the past few months I've been trying to support native and indigenous owned businesses especially because of this whole pandemic that has really hit business owners and it's been very hard for them to survive and to thrive. So I thought what better way than to showcase all of their awesome products on this video. So if you're interested in any of the items that I have here, I will try to leave links in the description box below. But other than that, thanks for joining me today and let's go ahead and get into the haul. company that I wanted to highlight today is Thunder Voice Hat Co. And this business was actually founded by Thunder Voice Eagle. He created this business and I love what they sell. They have a variety of apparel, they have handmade hats that are just completely beautiful. They just take my breath away. They also have some awesome prints, stickers. They definitely have a variety of products if you're interested. I love how beautiful all of their items are and how they show the significance and the beauty of native culture. But yes, you should definitely check them out if you have a chance. I actually purchased two items from Thunder Voice Hat Co. Let me show you real quick. So the first thing that I ordered was this awesome art print. Let me show you. It's like inspired by the girl wearing a pearl earring. There it is, oh my gosh, it looks so pretty. Look at the attention to the detail on the painting and how it just kind of shows up on the print here. This print, I believe, is eight by 11, but I absolutely love this. It's definitely some high quality ink that they use so that it's not, you know, <laughs> super blurry or smudge. So I think it's so beautiful. Yes, one of the prints that I purchased, the next thing that I bought was actually a mask. So here it is. It's this black mask, and you can see like a hint of pattern on it. Do you see that like, zigzag rug pattern almost and it's got this awesome little emblem here stitched on it actually doesn't have strings it's this elastic band here is how it looks like inside but yeah I think it looks really nice it's so pretty let me try it on for you all right here it is folks can you hear me through the mask <laughs> but yes there's the I don't know if you can see it got this awesome design on it and they they also have this in other colors as well but yes that's the two things that I purchased from Thunder Voice really happy about it let me go ahead and move on to the next business okay so second business that I wanted to talk about is Urban Native Era Urban Native Era was started by Joey Montoya and he is an indigenous person and they have a variety of products they have apparel they have hats they have some tote bags, and I think one of their most successful slogans on their products is You Are On Native Land. This slogan is one of the things that caught my attention of the company, and I think it really brings awareness and appreciation, and maybe it sparks a conversation, and if you support a native company, then you're also supporting indigenous peoples. And unfortunately, I only got one item from Urban Native Era, but that's okay because I really like it. Let me go ahead and show you. So I purchased a tote bag and here it is. Ta-da! So yes, there it is. It says you are on native land and it's got the handles up here. Yes, it's got a really great material. It's very durable. On the back of here, check this out. It's actually a hummingbird. It looks so pretty. I love the detail. I love the colors. I think it looks really good. <laughs> I'll probably put like my laptop in here or just, I don't even know, like notebooks. You could use it for groceries. I mean, definitely a lot of use for a tote. The next product that I have is made by a small business owner. Her name is Shannon Hale. She makes these beautiful earrings. She hand beads every single earring. She is very good at what she does. And I believe you can put in an order with her if you just slide into her DMs. But let me show you what earrings I got. Here they are. Here are the earrings. They're so beautiful. They're circular. They've got little mirrors inside of them. It's all sewed onto the back here. But yes, they're so pretty. Look at the detail there. Yes, these are the earrings. Let me try them on just to show you. Here they are. Wow, they look so good. So 
pretty. Just imagine like wearing these right to the squad dance or like wearing it to work or what have you. But they're so pretty. I love them. But yes, if you are interested in some lovely handmade indigenous made earrings, please don't hesitate to contact Shannon Hill and I'll leave her information below of course. The next business that I wanted to talk about is on Etsy. It's called Ohato Post. The business owner, Vanji, has a few products. She has mugs and mouse pads and shirts for sale. So I actually ordered the mugs and the mouse pads. So let me show you the mouse pads first. Here are the mouse pads. So here's the first one. This is a Navajo woven basket mouse pad and it's got this awesome design. And on the back here it just has a little sticker that says a hat. Thank you in Navajo. Here's the other one. Wow, it looks so good. It's a turquoise squash blossom and mouse pad. It's really pretty. Let me open these. Wow, look at them. They look so good. Of course they're a little floppy because they're mouse pads. Pretty thick padding there and it's got like a little grippy, little grippy texture on the back. On the front it's very smooth. Looks like she prints these on here. They look so good. Okay, cool. Okay, moving on. Let's go ahead and look at the mugs. Alright. Wow. Look at that. It's a Masana scarf inspired print. Masana meaning grandma. Wow, it's just all white on the inside. It's got a little white handle, a break in print, and then on the bottom it's white. Wow, this is very nice. I like this a lot. Wow, you can put your cup of hue in here. <laughs> got another similar cup to this. Let me show you the other color. Very nice, look at that. All of the little roses on there and the leaves. It's got this awesome little gloss on it that makes it very shiny. All right, everyone, we have come to our final item of my mini native indigenous owned business haul. The last business I wanted to talk about is called The Crafty Hogan. This company is owned by Tashina and there's a lot more information about her on her website, but she sells a wide variety of jewelry such as earrings, necklaces, she also has some art prints for sale, and that is actually what I purchased. So let me show you the art print that I got from her business. Haha, there it is everybody! Look at it, it's so nice. Okay, so for reference, the frame is actually a poster size and the print is inside of it. But yes, it's basically a picture of a Dinesh son just looking out into the universe. You know, she's got her rug dress on, she's got her tiyet, but yes, I think it's so pretty and look, she's just surrounded by the galaxy or the night sky. I feel like it's such a beautiful art piece that represents the beauty and the strength and the wisdom of native women. And I just love, 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 love this art print so much. All right, so we've come to the end of the haul. I had so much fun sharing these awesome creations and products from native and indigenous owned businesses and I just really hope that this video encourages you to go out there and support local native and indigenous business owners, creators, silversmithers, you know, artists, painters, all of the lists <laughs> because, you know, honoring native peoples is such an important aspect that just gets overlooked sometimes and it's important to support these businesses that are just so full of like history I mean like turquoise and fashion it's so beautiful and it just honors the legacy of native and indigenous peoples in the United States and all across the world you know we still exist we are still here and I just want to emphasize that it's so important to buy native owned and native created. So thank you so much for watching this video. 
I hope you're interested in some of the products that I showed today, but there's definitely a lot more that you can also shop for. And if you know of any small, big, native indigenous businesses that I should know about, please don't hesitate to put it in the comments down below so I can also check them out and maybe make some future purchases. <laughs> With that being said, don't forget to support this channel by liking, commenting and subscribing we have reached over a hundred subscribers you know when i first started this channel i was like there was no way <laughs> i'm gonna reach a hundred subscribers but you know it's all about the little things and i want to thank you all so much for joining me here today i really appreciate every one of you so i will see you in the next video and until next time bye